The following comparison is not paid for by either company. This is all personal experience firsthand with both equipment. So when it came to flashing the car, they were both pretty much the same as far as how long it took. Roughly around five minutes to just over five minutes. And at the end of the flashing, Hondata is very easy. It says just turn off the car completely. And then once you've done that, then the screen will recognize it and it will press, uh, it will pop OK button. However, with the K-Tuner unit, you had to turn the car off wait a few seconds, and then put the car back into the key on ignition off and wait a few seconds until the system recognized it on the laptop. And then once that happens, then you press OK, and supposedly your car is supposed to be flashed. However, I had a lot of problems with that, and that was not the experience that I had with my car, unfortunately. So when it came to the tuning, I have to give this one to K-Tuner. When you go into the K-Tuner software, it has a bunch of drop-down menus to make things sort of like a, a la carte, where you can pick and choose what you want to do. Whereas with the Han Data, you really have to have an experienced tuner who knows what they're doing to go through and set up all the different tables. So when it comes to the tuning of the two, they're going to do the same job. They pretty much look like the identical tables to one another when you look at all of them broken down. But the drop-down menus that K-Tuner had, it made it a whole lot easier. So you could say, okay, I want stock 16 pounds of boost. And then when I go into sport mode, I want it to go up to like something like 23 pounds of boost. Whereas on Hondata, they have the same thing as one of the options, but you usually have to get it tuned So now we're going to talk about removing the equipment. It was pretty much the same process for both K-Tuner and for Hondata, but the one that's going to take the W in this one is going to be the Hondata. When I went to flash the car back to stock, for Hondata it was fairly quick, easy, flash it back to stock, unlock, you're done. Whereas with K-Tuner, like I said before, it took several tries in order for it to flash back to stock, confirm it was flash back to stock, and then multiple tries again to unlock it from the car. Now, the guy that I bought my K-Tuner from had the same exact experience when he was trying to unlock it from his car. He reflashed it back to stock multiple times, and he kept having problems getting it unlocked from the car. It literally took nearly an hour for him to get it unlocked from his car. So... K-Tuner takes an L in this one. So to recap, we had reviewed both the K-Tuner equipment and the Honda equipment. There were nine different categories. Prices, equipment, website, their apps, their screen appearances, which unfortunately I couldn't show, uh, installation of the hardware, installation as far as flashing, tuning, and removing the equipment. Now, out of the nine categories, in my opinion, now your opinion can vary, Hondata won six out of the nine categories. K-Tuner won three out of the nine categories. Now, here is a key thing to take into consideration. I'm not saying one is going to be better over the other. I can only tell you from my personal experiences, the problems that I had with both of them, and very fortunate for me, I have not had many negative experiences with Hondata. On a few times on some of their software updates, I did catch some things that were not supposed to be in the system, brought it to Hondata's attention, and they were quick to fix everything, which was cool. Uh, unfortunately, it seemed a very negative experience working with customer service for K-Tuner. Again, that's my personal opinion, you know, my personal experience, but... Like I said, out of the nine categories, the three categories that K-Tuner won it for me was they won in pricing, they won as far as the equipment went, 
and they had more of a a better option when it came to tuning the vehicle. Not that anything was different. It's just that they that whole a la carte drop down. This is what I want exactly. Not needing a tuner to do everything for me. That made it primo. But everything else was Han data. So feel free. Check it out. Talk to your friends. Enjoy. <laughs>